The law is clear. Workplace sex or gender discrimination is illegal. Yet stereotypes about physical ability, childcare, and gender roles remain all too prevalent in Maryland workplaces. And Maryland employers who don't take this seriously expose themselves to enormous legal risk. My name is Joe Gibson, and I'm a Maryland sex and gender discrimination lawyer. Let's talk about it. Sex and gender discrimination are illegal in Maryland under federal, state, and local laws. The most important federal law that prohibits sex and gender discrimination is Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Title VII makes it illegal for Maryland employers to take any employment action, be it hiring, firing, promoting, or demoting, based on sex or gender. Here's the rub with Title VII. It only applies to Maryland employers that have at least 15 employees. Maryland's state equivalent to Title VII, which is called Title 20, has the same restriction. That's why at the Employment Law Center of Maryland, we sometimes recommend suing for sex or gender discrimination under city or county laws, which can apply to very small employers under the wrongful termination theory, which makes it illegal to fire someone because of their sex or gender, regardless of how big the employer is. So here's what you need to know about the process of suing for a Maryland employer for sex discrimination. First, you can't go straight to court. You or your lawyer need to file an administrative complaint of sex discrimination with a government agency first. That's generally the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the EEOC, or the Maryland Commission on Civil Rights, the MCCR. The acronym you file with depends on whether you plan to sue under federal law, Title VII, or Maryland state law, Title 20. If you're filing with the EEOC, you need to file your administrative complaint within 300 days of the discrimination. This is called a statute of limitations, and if you wait more than 300 days, you may not be able to bring your case at all. If you're filing with the MCCR, you only have 180 days, or six months, to file an administrative complaint of sex or gender discrimination. Now, I often speak with victims of workplace discrimination who ask me if they can file the administrative complaint themselves and only hire a lawyer like me once they're ready to file the court complaint. The short answer is yes, you can file the administrative complaint yourself, but you really shouldn't. By having a Maryland gender discrimination lawyer in your corner from the very start, they'll make sure that your administrative and court complaints line up in terms of facts, legal issues, and what us lawyers call the causes of action. So while you can file these complaints yourself to save money on legal fees, which I completely understand, you'll often just create a bigger and more expensive headache for yourself down the road. And if you make a serious mistake in your administrative complaint, you can even lose your case before it has a chance to really get going. In addition to that, experience has taught us that evidence and witness memories degrade very quickly. And if we're able to preserve evidence and talk to witnesses right away, you're generally going to have a much stronger sex discrimination case in the long run. And there's really no reason to delay talking to a lawyer. Here at the Employment Law Center of Maryland, we can generally get you a same-day consultation with a lawyer and that consultation will be both free and confidential. If you need to talk to a Maryland sex or gender discrimination lawyer, you can reach out to us on our website at www.elcmd.org or call us at 240-384-5705. At the Employment Law Center of Maryland, we sue bad bosses.